Hi Gemini's, it's Elle here to do your April 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Gemini who views the video but if it does resonate with you please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who have already done so. So we got a new different little setup here. Um, I hope you like it um, and I hope you're having a really good uh, late March going into April okay so we're gonna start off with an angel answers uh, card to kind of give us a feel for the read okay so this could be love it could be career it could be friends family weight oh wow the Aquarius got the weight also we got the weight card um, pretty plain and simple weight Uh, and we'll clarify that in a second. Let's go ahead and jump into the reading. We're going to do one card for the past, one for the present, one for the near future. Now, you could be waiting for almost anything. Let's see what this is about. It's almost like the hangman energy. Let's see. One card for the past. Okay, and we have the temperance card. Okay, so you could be dealing with Sagittarius, of course, or this could just be a situation where you're trying to make the best of a situation. You're trying to be the alchemist, be the the chemist here, and marry two, uh, marry the two cups together. Um. In regards to a relationship or job, there may be things you don't like about the job or the relationship, but you're, you're you're trying to compromise here in regards to in regards to keeping it together or holding it together or making the best of a situation. I'll do a little of this, and uh, hopefully they'll do a little of that, and then we can kind of keep it going. Um, It could work, it could not, right? This was in the past. You were trying to make something work. Okay, presently, the judgment, wow. Two majors. Didn't I say trying, and then I kept saying it could work, it could not work. Like, this is a situation where we had a temperance card. Yes, it's also about waiting too, right? And having patience. Um, in that waiting and having patience you're you're tiptoeing the other person is tiptoeing I'm compromising you're compromising hopefully or maybe you're the only one doing the compromising um, or vice versa uh, but something or someone was trying to make something work a bad situation turn it upside down and make it work turn it good presently this says you're gonna have to make a final decision about this no one can live in a temperance energy forever okay this is about when you get in that temperance energy okay now we're going to try to make it work marry the two um this used to be a successful relationship the two cups but then something happened uh, we need to get back to good times or we need to release and that's the judgment card is about uh, in like I said, relationship or career, finance, whatnot. And we'll pull some clarifying cards. But you, excuse me, you've got to make a final decision about something or someone. You can't keep trying to revive something that is dead. Revive it. You know, um, it's deceased. Oh God, let it die. Let it be. Uh, let's see, the near future. Two cards when they come up. Hmm. Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Okay. So another major. Um it looks like Gemini finally understands that I'm gonna make the there's lack of confidence. In regards to what the Gemini was trying to create, 
with said person, entity, you fill in the blank. Someone is feeling left out due to lack of, of confidence of, of how we can move forward. Um, poor mental um, judgment. Like you didn't, you didn't take stock of what you were not take stock, but you, you, this Gemini, or maybe the person you're dealing with could be a Virgo, a Taurus, could be anyone, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, right? Um, Sagittarius. You kept trying to create, but at the same time, you knew that this wasn't going to work. There's lack of confidence here in this working either from you or from the other person. Now, it could have been lack of confidence in regards to maybe this person was creating outside of the union or uh, somebody just didn't have a whole bunch of confidence in a set uh, existing institution. Because the fives are about the higher institutions. Um, unions, uh, long-standing institutions and or unions. Somebody didn't have confidence in this this marriage, this job, this corporation, in, this, in what they were creating here. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. There could have been something or someone outside of this, this union. Someone on the outskirts, someone that you or another person you were dealing with, or there was another desire here. I, you know, I maybe I desire to be my own boss, to um, go my own direction, or I did, or there was a desire for another person, either you or a person you were dealing with, right? Uh, let's go ahead and clarify. the temperance card in the past or who or what what's the temperance card was the queen of wands some of you could be definitely dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo um someone who sorry i had to sneeze <laughs> um someone who was see the the queens are completely concerned with their element right so they're concerned with the fire the passion does the desire so you could have been dealing with someone who was only concerned with their their passion their desire uh, their drive um and you were trying to make it work you just really were trying to okay you know or this could have been you gemini um maybe a level of narcissism. I know people throw that word around, but um, maybe you're trying to make, make it work with somebody who was really, you know, all about, you know, um, has a really large friend group, is attractive, outgoing, charismatic. This could be you, Gemini. This could be someone else or the other person or you were trying to make it work with a particular person like this or this is you or you were trying to make something work in regards to career and finance but you had a desire to do something else elsewhere and or you were already doing it elsewhere and it kind of was um you were trying to make both of the, the situations work i'm trying to make my nine to five work and uh, then i'm also trying to do whatever this is that i love doing on the side uh judgment in the present the four swords. Okay. How you need to act in regards to this situation. What you need to do will come from rest, meditation, prayer. Getting more spiritually inclined.
you're doing a lot of running around to a lot of stuff and you need to rest you need to recover from that um, you need to take stock of your health Some of you may be having surgery or had surgery. Okay. Let's see. Near future, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Two cards again. Ace of Cups, King of Cups. So it's like either you really love someone or they really love you. There's a lot of love here. But there's also not a lot of confidence in this going where it needs to go. In it growing. The Empress is about growth and creation. The, the King of Cups likes to keep exes about. Um, and maybe that's who she is. Um, in regards to career and finance, I don't have a lot of confidence in what I'm creating currently. My, my passion, my love for my drive, my God-given talent, what I love to do... Um, I want to do this will have no confidence here let's see what the advice of the cards is Gemini Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So, in order to start something foundational, um, and that could be very, have a lot of longevity for you, maybe even be lucrative, you're going to have to separate and or divorce from one path. Because your, your heart is pierced by two ways now. Uh, this is you, then the, those are those two to people, to things you do, um, you're divided, uh, indecisive, heartbroken in regards to, um, if this is love, some of you need to actually heal from a broken heart. Um, there may be divorce and or separation on the horizon. But look what comes after that, right? Um, your partner or you may have someone else and it causes uh, that strife, that distance within in your, your union to where it's just like, I don't even know if I, this partner likes to keep things to him or herself they they like to keep the exes about you know not to say that they're you know messing with them and ha still having relationships with them but they do like the attention and to know that they have access to so maybe that is why you don't have a lot of confidence in this in that relationship if that's relationship the advice of the cards is to divorce one path and uh, maybe have something foundational come in for you or start something foundational see if this is in career then it's going to be you're going to have to decide two of swords the cards are saying you're, you're above the two of swords you know which way you need to go you need to go ahead and do it the three of swords so that you can start this new foundational thing if it's love, then you may be going through separation and or divorce, maybe due to infidelity and or lies or secrets. Um, but in in that regard, look what comes in for you. Something solid and stable. 
Okay, let's go ahead and clarify our weight card. Alright. Wait to drop this burden. Because you don't have all the information just yet. Wait. Spirit may be also working on your behalf behind the scenes. Soon you'll be able to release secret or release what is toxic or uh, taxing is heavy what could be a proverbial heavy load or a literal heavy load I, you'll be able to drop that it'll it'll be a final ending culmination of and maybe you'll go back to the ace of wands and you'll start over either in same situation or new let's go ahead and leave you with some of the butterfly oracle cards in regards to what you should be focused on moving forward also some of you may be wait before you, you actually physically move to make a physical move What should Jim be focused on moving forward? Take the next step now. Okay. That that was the advice of the cards. Divorce and or separate. So you can start something foundational. Take the next step now. Pretty much self-explanatory. Religion and spirituality. Nice. That four of swords. Prayer, meditation, getting um, regimen in your life with the religion and spirituality card. Wow, this jumped out of the deck. Leaving. You need to be focused on these three things. Bottom of the deck. Nice. Windfall. Also, the ten of wands can talk about unexpected money or good luck. Uh, so, yeah, a windfall of money or good luck comes in for you. So, this is if Jim and I can wrap them themselves, their mind around this is over. I can no longer create in this place. Uh, then goodness. So the foundational comes in for you. Stop trying to make the best of a bad situation or a not so good situation. Follow the desire of your heart and or someone you're dealing with does just that. Follows the desire of their heart. So you need to take on that advice take the next step now religion and spirituality leaving this could be an actual fit like i said the ten of wands is a is it could be a move this could be an actual i'm getting up and i'm leaving the job the home whatever or i am leaving a person or situation behind you know leaving that taxing toxic energy behind uh, Gemini, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, for you, uh, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Also, uh, request a $5 yes or no um, spread. Uh, a few cards pull for you. Tells you yes or no. It must be a yes or no question. Uh, should I leave? Even though the card says leaving. Um... Is this person cheating? Will they come back? Does he love me? Does she love me? Uh, where did I leave my car keys? I don't know. Uh, but it has to be uh, kind of a, an open-ended question. It can't be, you know, all about. But anyhow, thank you, Gemini, for tuning in. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Uh, talk to you guys really soon, okay? Take care.